What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here and welcome to Felsburn. Now, I've never done a let's play like this before. I've never just started with what they give you. So you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to start here in Felsburn. You can see this is a brand new game save. If you're not familiar with the basics of the game yet, we recommend going through the first two tutorials. We're taking a guided tour of Ravenport. <laughs> okay. Turn off the map. Turn everything off. Now, we're going to go in our settings and we're going to change this stuff to match what we want. So traffic on, dirt fast, automatic engine start off, fuel, eh, there is no high. How about we go default, bye, 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 bye. Plant growth fast, plant withering off. All of this stuff needs to be on and auto save turned off. We also want to make sure that this stuff is good. Dollar miles acres, good, good, good. Radio is off. Def dynamic vehicle camera on. Uh, invert Y look no. Easy arm controls, <laughs> yes. Camera sensitivity, this all looks good. And 2020 20, straight down the board. Save the game. <laughs> Again, this is, like I said, a different kind of let's play because we are actually playing a freaking game. <laughs> what can we do to get the most amount of money possible? Now, this does set you up for a little bit of success. It's not, uh, it's not the greatest, but it's better than nothing. So we're going to take a look. We've got field 19 and 20. Uh, we have wheat in field 19. 19's ready to be harvested, and... 20 has been harvested. Now, what do we need? Nothing. Nothing needs to be done, which is fantastic. I love that. So we just need to connect up to here. We're going to go ahead and unfold the harvester. And I am going to go down here and set a worker. Now, we're going to set this worker going long ways instead of kind of wing ways. Actually, you know what? We can easily start him down here. Yeah, let's just drive through all of our grass and kill it all. <laughs> Goodness gracious, I'm sorry guys. Uh, I have no intentions whatsoever of anything, really. This, it's all up to chance. Whatever happens, happens. We've got our 100 grand. We did start in uh, new farmer mode because it kind of gives you everything. It gives you a good place to start. I think a lot of people are going to start like this. So let's make sure that we are open down here just to double check because I don't know what it looks like. Uh, straw swath is turned on, so we can turn that off. And hire worker. And he's going to take off slowly, but they, they start moving after a second or two. There we go. And we have straw down, which we will be able to bell up later on. Perfect. What's next down the road? All right, so we have our Fent favorite. And I'm gonna pull it right here, line it up. Good, drop that down and get this place cultivated. That's what I'm talking about. Next up, right here. Hook up, hook up. We already have seed in here, which is fantastic. We don't have to do it. Am I saying fantastic too much? I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> Let's go through and let's see. So wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflowers, cover crop, or grass. Hmm. Now what is going to make us the most amount, most amount of money quickly? Uh, some new things just came out. A new bell wrapper just dropped, actually. Let's go into belling technology. I want to see what that is. See, 54000 for that and 8000 for the round bell wrapper. And only 50 grand for the roller. What does the auto loader cost? <laughs> Another 70. Of course it. Does. Wait, no, wrong one. 39. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. What does that cost to lease? Okay, about four grand. This is going to cost us. Oops, wrong way. Bella Technology. There we go. What's this going to cost us to lease? Another four grand. So eight grand. I don't think we're going to get enough bells if we do grass on there. So, let's do oat. Just because not a lot of people are doing oat right now. 
Well, maybe they are. It's brand new. So let's get it right here and let's get it all set up ready to go. As soon as this worker gets a little further in, we'll take care of him. Now how is this guy doing? He's gonna be able to make it down and back a couple more times. But before he does, let's go and grab our portrait and our Fiat. This is a very nice tractor. It sounds good, it looks good, it was very well made. Uh, Giants, I think, did a, a really good job on this. So let's bring our crews down to a comfortable six. And I'm just going to take this down to the other end of the field and get it ready to go. Hey, and it looks like we're about ready to start planting here as well. That makes me happy. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> there go all the birds. Yeah, that's another thing that is super awesome is all the birds on here. That's really cool. So a couple things that we can look at when we start a map like this, when we start a game save like this. First things first, we, let's go ahead and turn that off. You're gonna wanna spend money, no, go away. That was loud. <laughs> we wanna spend money. A couple things we will need. Eventually we're gonna need a plow. I don't wanna buy it until we have to, but we're gonna need one eventually. We already have a cultivator, so we're good there. We have a header for our harvester, which is great. So really, we're just gonna need to get a planter if we ever wanna do anything other than the basic crops. Uh, we also go with a subsoiler, which is great. Uh, these are little uh, combi plows. So these can be used as a plow and a cultivator. And they don't require a lot of horsepower either, 140 for the four meter, which is really good. And if you go over here to the coon, you can get that for a little bit more, but 10 less horsepower. It also works with the HR404 and the BTF4000. Oh, DJ, what are those? Let's go down here. Let's jump in there, find coon. Where are we? Oh, we were on it. And bump over. So we have cultivator there. There's a 404. And where, what else did it say? 404 and the BTF 4000 right here. All of these are four meters. So if we wanted to make a plow a cultivator and a cedar all at the same time, we could easily make that happen. It's a really cool thing. It's a really cool, neat thing. So let's jump over here. Oh, well, it was on. Let's go ahead and start planting our oats. Let's get some more straw down. And let's jump in here. And let's get this guy unloaded. Uh, he's only about halfway done. Mm. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do it. So a few things that I can already tell that we're going to need, and this is big, especially if you want the best harvest possible. Let's go into the store. Well, first off, let's take a look at the map. Needs lime right here. The field that we are doing right now, field 19, needs lime. Field 20 is good, but it has no fertilizer. <sighs> lime and fertilizer what can we do to be able to get both of those at the same time now there's not much we can do unfortunately however we can go into fertilizer see these do lime this one requires uh well, actually it doesn't say what it requires for horsepower i can't imagine it's very good though but we're gonna have to buy it. But what this is gonna be able to do is this is gonna be able to seed and 
fertilize. So we don't really care about the extensions. We're going to have the worker do it anyway. I do want to put narrow tires on here. And we don't need these big, huge spreading discs. Because this is going to take it from a 12 meter to an 18 meter. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you that. But it does do that. It, it does expand it. But we don't need that. We just need this. And what this can do for us is it can give us solid fertilizer and lime. So we're going to buy it. At 40 grand, we are going to buy it. Oh, that was that was rough. What we're also going to do is we're going to buy a pallet of lime and buy a pallet of solid fertilizer so that it knows what's in it. Let's go uh, let's go with big bags and we are going to go with solid fertilizer bag. We're going to buy one of those. Purchase, yes. And a lime bag. It's got 2000 in it. Purchase, yes. Next, we want to see if any of the tractors that we have currently can have a front loader because we are going to need a front loader to help us carry some stuff around. So let's go in, and I'm just going to take a look at these to see if a front loader... So no front loader on there, unfortunately. How about in the Fent? Front loader attacher. Yes, we can put a front loader on this, but I don't think either one has it on there. So that's going to be a customization job that we do. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to get this field finished up. We're going to finish cultivating at least. And we're going to take this guy right here, the one who is cultivating. We're going to take this tractor down. We're going to stick a front loader on it. And we are going to get pallet forks as well. So I think what we can go ahead and do is purchase those. So let's go in here, front loaders. There we go. FZ100, 30, whatever, <laughs> and then some pallet forks. Yes. Now we started with 100 grand, and we have already spent half. That's right, half of our money. But guess what? When we take this down there, all we have to do is put that front loader on there. We are pretty good. All we got to do is that, and we can bring it back, and... We can bring back a pallet at the same time. That's awesome. Let's finish this field up. We'll see you down at the store. I do have a few things down at the well, down at the shop. And one thing you didn't think I was going to get. Also, uh, we got like 1700 bucks left. Yeah, so what I did was I bought a, a baler. <laughs> we need it. We need it so bad. There we go. Hop out of there. And let's get a little bit of customization on. I didn't even think think how much is this going to cost crap 1500 and i have 1600 <laughs> customize i don't want to oh that stinks we have a rubble rub 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 we are going to go into debt <laughs> 169 uh we are going to go into debt unfortunately uh it's okay i'm cool with it eventually it'll be okay today it is not eventually it will be now I know we're gonna need we're, well we're gonna be able to do solid fertilizer before we can do the lime so we are gonna go ahead and put the solid fertilizer in there and then we will get the lime and we will pick the lime up so we should be at a place where the solid fertilizer is just gonna go in now we are gonna use the worker yep solid fertilizer is going in there now we are gonna use a worker on this so I'm not too concerned here we go. Let's go and back this up so that we can get in line. Oh, yeah, this is going to be the fun part. Here we go. Come on, DJ. You can do this. Stop stop panicking. There's nobody watching. Just quit panicking. I'm panicking, yo. <laughs> nice and easy. That was nice and very easy. Sweet. So we've got this, we've got the fertilizer spreader. What we can do is we can go ahead and set this to start fertilizing. Assuming that the planter is done. I'm not sure if it is yet or not, 
But I think we're going to find out here in just a second. I know it was getting close. Oh, come on. Just... Sorry, beep, beep, get out of the way. Alright, let's check and see. Oh yeah, he's on his last pass. We're good. I'll tell you one thing, we need to do uh We need to do a little stop. Stop motion thing real quick. What is the number one rule of doing stuff like this? We need Oh, better lighting's what we need. I gotta take a picture. <laughs> Do it for the tube! Hey, yeah, you know what? I don't have... I never have, uh... Tractors facing this way enough. So, eh. We'll figure it out. Let me get this picture taken. We'll be right back. Alright. Sorry about that. We had to do something nice for you. I had to take a thumbnail. Yeah, yeah. Let's drop that off. Yeah, about right there. That'll work. Still have the weight on the front just in case... Whatever reason. Something crazy happens. We'll have a little bit of weight on the front to keep this balanced. So let's hook up right here. And hook up. Bring it up and go into debt further. Hire worker. Ah, there we go. Hopefully it's not getting over there. Eh, it's not too bad. There's a little bit wider spread on this thing than I was expecting. I knew it was... You know what I'm talking about. So now we're getting this first layer down. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah, fertilized. That's what I'm talking about. So this whole thing's planted. Most of this has been harvested. This will need lime. And this... You freaking moron! <sighs> What'd you think? You were done? What are you doing? Oh, he's finishing that field over there. It's dummy. No, it's this field, buddy. Ah, oh, you're so stupid. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> but again, we're throwing it down over here. Then we go over there. And be good. We can put the lime down. Perfect. The very last thing that we really have to do today, because this is going to complete all that. What I want to do is I want to figure out, I want to drop these uh, front loader arms off. And then we are going to go grab the baler and come back and start working on bales. About right here is probably good. Let's make this look nice. About as flat as we can. Oh, a little bit too much, huh? And select the main arms. Perfect. So let's go get the baler. Let's bring it back. It's not too far away. Thank goodness the shop's right here. Let's grab the balers, bring it back. Let's get to baling. And I think I'm just about wrap us up and here we are oh yeah tell you what it has been a very productive first day here on Felsbrunn or Felsbrunn however you want to call it I'm totally cool with it there we go and turn it on now the easiest part of all well maybe it's easy staying in a straight line straight enough line where we can do this and it not go everywhere so guys that is going to be it for today we're not going to do much off screen if really anything but oh we're almost done yeah because well there's not too much to do we will get all of this build up and we will see you tomorrow this is going to be a weekend series only. Uh, you can call this a survivor series if you want, but it's really not. It's a new player slash, uh, you know, what do you what do you do? What what do you do? How do you start? What's uh, what's the deal, homie? That is what this series is. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments section. If you have any ideas, feel free to put those down there as well. I'm excited to see what you guys have to say and if you have started this any different. But with that being said, I hope you have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace.